In a previous video, I used a piece of paper to completely obliterate the speed of sound. And in so doing, discovered a strange phenomenon. Stay tuned. At first it seemed obvious that the shockwave was simply shaking the camera, as seen in these clips. In fact, at times the effect was quite strong. Even so much that, with the camera several feet away, this happened. Yeah, powerful enough to knock over the camera. Anyway, here's further proof. Look at where the arrow is pointing. Even at that distance, the camera still seems to shake a little bit, and notice that debris falling. However, I started to have some doubts after reviewing some more footage. This one doesn't look quite that simple. It looks like perhaps the camera lens is being distorted. After all, it is just thin glass. I suppose at this point I don't have a whole lot of reason to believe that it's not just the camera shaking, but as we look further, things do get stranger. There is the aspect that the digital camera cannot intake all of the information that is happening. At 240 frames per second, we do get some pixelization, especially on this freeze frame. But you can see in the background that the iPad that's filming that doesn't seem to be shaking as much as the camera suggests. In fact, in this clip, it doesn't appear to shake at all, even though the phone that's filming the iPad is. But if you look at the footage from the iPad, you still see the phenomenon. And the same thing in another clip of similar nature. Take particular note of the blurry snow to the left of the shot. Well, I suppose it could just be the camera shaking, but it does just seem a little bit strange. It's this clip that's the coup de grace. If you can explain this, please do in the comments below. Wood just doesn't seem to bend like that, and look at the sapling to the left. Now, I suppose this could be the result of the rolling shutter effect, as seen here when trying to film a cathode ray television, or when filming an airplane prop or spinning wheel. Now here's one final clip for your consideration. Notice the warping of the snow in the forefront of the shot. It simply doesn't seem to be camera shake or the rolling shutter. So the question is this, is this a phenomenon of heat or pressure, as seen when filming the heat coming off of a candle? Or perhaps some similar optical phenomenon like a mirage on a hot road? Is it a product of the digital limitations of the camera, or the rolling shutter? Or perhaps I'm just off my rocker and it is just the camera shaking. Or could it even be that lens warping? It may be a combination of any of these effects, and if you have any expertise to share, please do so in the comments below. In any case, that's all I have for this video. I appreciate you sticking around till the end. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I thank you for sticking around till the end, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.